Hey everyone, I plan on waiting until I had more time to do this video, but I'm never going to have time. And this is a tool that I need on my workbench. So um, I'm going to unbox this today with my camera rolling, and I'm actually going to in install it here. And um, I'll finally be able to do real work while making videos for you guys. So um, without skipping a beat here, I'm going to cut this thing open. This like just came. UPS just dropped this off, and I've been I've been waiting on it for a while. And uh, I've gotten a couple of comments from viewers that have also been waiting on it. Some of them pretty pleasant. Others that were just fucking assholes. So this is a. Why is there a password on my sheet for? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I bought this from uh, Precision World on eBay. This was an eBay purchase. I buy a lot of stuff on eBay. Man, I'd normally do this in the floor, but I'm doing it on video, so I'm going to try to pull this off right here on the workbench. Watch me drop this right in front of everybody. I got phones all taken apart here on the bench, too, so that is going to make this extra extra difficult. I'm going to suck my belly in so nobody sees that I'm starting to get a belly. I quit smoking uh, quit smoking cigarettes two years ago. This side says up. And ever since I quit smoking cigarettes, I've been putting on weight. I've lived most of my life 125 pounds wet. And when I quit smoking, I, I gained 25 pounds right off the bat. This is going to help my day so much. I'm glad I'm doing this now and not later. Hope I got the right stuff to hook all my stuff up. Hey, wait a minute. That's not the thing in the picture. The picture showed this microscope with a different thing. The trinocular adapter. Man, I'm so glad to see it. Don't have that garbage for swapping between your eye or the camera. So... The picture showed a different different adapter to hook up to the port on top of this thing. And this is actually the same exact adapter that's with my old one. So um, we're going to have... So in the package here I've got the adapter, which as you can see on the microscope I'm using now is this piece right here. I've had to add black tape to it to keep the dust out of it. We have... some new eyepieces with the guards folded down around them. And that's the 10X20X. This isn't really a, a product review video. That's sort of how, what it's turning into be. <laughs> um, but this is more to let everybody know, hey, check it out, I got some new shit for this YouTube channel. I can finally do tedious jobs without sacrificing my left eye. You just you cannot do some of this tedious work with one eye. You need your stereo. You need to 3D the depth of your So throw that shit away along with the instructions. So I've got the head. There's my first eyepiece. I'm going to unbox the second eyepiece. I also got to make this pretty quick because I am in the middle. Like carried all the way up to my neck in repairs. And you know, everybody wants it done the day it comes in and not the time frame that you give them. Another eyepiece, fold it out. This thing, since it's exactly like the one that I'm using, I mean, it's it's the same thing. I'm just going to use the one I got. I'm not going to deal with this. Let's see, I should have a lens cap in here. This is to my old microscope. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Um, let's go ahead and drop the light off of this one. And turn the light off. Now you might laugh at something that I've done here. I've spent all this time soldering on, on camera and stuff and nobody's ever seen what I've done. <laughs> so when I ordered this light, um, I didn't have any way to hook it to the head because as you can see on the microscope head itself, the way this bottom is shaped, you can't really, and without the lens cap on it, you can't really hook anything to that if you try to put you know, 
tighten that light down here, it just slides off. So my assumption there is that there's probably there's probably something that you can get to screw on here that that light's supposed to hook to. But at the time when I ordered this stuff, fuck, I didn't know that. So what I wound up doing, here's my light mount. I cut a nice clean hole in the bottom of the lens cap that came with it. And that's actually what I put the set screws for my light into. Um, it works pretty good. So let's get this thing off of here. Man, I'm not going to miss losing my left eye every time I want to use a camera. So we're going to pop this off. Camera's off. Almost all in, hey, look at that, I can stash that right there. Almost all in one motion. I'm going to put the lens cap on this one to keep the dust out. Now, I do have plans for this other microscope. I've had a couple of people ask me, hey, are you going to sell the old one? What are you going to do with the old one? And, man, the truth of the matter is, is I, I need it. Um, I need more than one workspace. Um, I could really use another area that's got a microscope. So, here's the old one. Everything here looks exactly the same. This is the M-Scope microscope with lose your left eye every time you want to use a camera. Here's the M-Scope microscope that is simulfocal. There's no, you don't have this thing that you pull. Um, on the one that you lose your left eye, you got this thing that you pull that switches light between the left eye and the trinocular port. So uh, we're going to set this one aside. We are going to set the new one in place here. This is the AMSCOPE SM745CP. I hope I got that model number right because I really don't. I don't know. So um, that doesn't really matter. You know, I, I'm not shopping by model. I'm shopping by, you know, the variable zoom. I look for the 7x, the 45x, and um, simulfocal is it's a major thing. And also, I'm going to have all clean lenses and stuff here, too. So I clean my microscope every once in a while. Um, but I don't think there's going to be anything like having new lenses. That's the cap that normally comes with it. This is what I did to the cap to my other one so that I had some surface area to put the set screws in for the light. Laugh. I'm sure you'll laugh because there's probably a 50-cent piece of... Probably 50 cents. I bet I say 50 cents with the 30 minutes it took me to cut that hole. So I'm going to put my special... Cover on the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and put the camera in because I need to have a look at the bottom. All right, so we're going to take their lens cap off. I'm going to set my camera right in there. Lovely. At least that wasn't a screwdriver on top of the logic board. All right, eyepieces, man, that looks clean. Ooh. All right, put our light up here. You might notice my boom stand is put together upside down from what it was in the instructions. I put it together the way I needed it to fit my, my workbench here. Um, I needed to stand up high in my work area down low. My light on. Let me see how it looks for me. Oh, we're zoomed all the way in. Cool. Let me grab a board. And then let me turn the camera on for you and see if I can get it to where you can see it. Oh, wow. I'm starting to get excited. All right. So here we have a board. How far out of whack am I here? Oh wow, we gotta go all the way up. So the uh, the focal point, the focal links on this thing are way different. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna try to focus this up so it's clear with my. Dude, this is so much more clear than my other one. I'm gonna go ahead and get her in focus, clear for me. Oh man, I'm glad I did this today. This is so much better. All right, so now we're in focus for me. I'm gonna loosen up my camera here. Um, let's see if I can focus it for you. 
I've got to get a new, I mean, I'm, I'm sliding this thing by hand for crying out loud. I've seen some really groovy adapters, really cool stuff that are allowing people to find focus this and then, you know, autofocus camera and stuff. So, um, I'm not going to get it exact here. I'm going to actually tune my eyepieces once I've got this set. All right, tighten you down. I couldn't have picked a hairier logic board for this demonstration. Sorry. All right. So, Now that's pretty dang clear. I might need to do a little fine tuning later. So now I've got that clear. Man, the images popping out of this thing are just popping straight into my brain. This is nice. Now I really don't need the. Um, I don't need the. Um, I really don't need the simulfocal. I, I didn't need this for me. This is entirely for the YouTube channel. My other microscope worked fantastic, but it didn't allow me to record video or the shit. So I can actually, I can do my job now and I can see, I can pick stuff off. I, I, I can do my job and do, do YouTube videos. So that is totally awesome. And I am going to go ahead I'm going to wrap up this video because I have a ton of work to do. Um, I'll be able to do some really cool videos now for this thing. So um, this is an investment that I bought just for this YouTube channel. Like I said, I, it's the only reason I need it so I can keep my left eye and, and do work on camera. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Look forward to uh, some more videos in the future because I'm, uh, I'll upload as much as I can. But the way work has been, man, it's been really, really hard to make time to do a video. And if I got to sacrifice my left eye, the majority of the jobs that are coming through here, there's no way that I can do them on camera because I just, I can't, I'm not going to take that risk for my customer. It's you do some trial and error when you're working with one eye. You can't tell where you are here. You, you can see where you are on the plane, but you can't see how high you are. So you're always stuck with having to kind of guess at how high you are and you don't have too many second chances whenever you've got uh, micro BGA packages that are floating on balls. So that's it for this video, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm excited to have this, and I'm excited to what I'm going to be able to bring to the YouTube channel with it. So have a good day.